Hello everyone, welcome back to the Rage of Empires 4 commentary. I am Beyond, and let's get right into this game in the bottom side of the map. In the orange, as the Chinese, we have Beastie. Now, clearly his name is not Beastie in this one. It is 3F and Scouts, and I get 80 Boonty. If you're not aware of that, that is the meme uh, with Marine Lord. Uh, of him saying the same thing uh, when he was playing Roos and didn't, did not get anything more than 80 bounty playing Roos. And with three scouts, that's an absolute crime against humanity. So I can see why he was upset. On the far side of this lovely map of Mountain Clearing, aka the Rage Cage. I don't, I don't know why I said that. It's not the Rage Cage. I mean, there's not, I mean, there's one sacred site, so it could be, but you never know. Besides that, in the green, as the French is Vanderdorf. Now is it, it's a whole different, I've heard that, I've heard something similar many a times. I'm not sure I've heard that exact thing before. Hi Cal, uh, hi Conqueror player. Beastie is obviously a very, very good, if not one of, I think I've, I think right now like top two, top three, debatably top one at some times. I just won Golden League. So, an incredible player, a very, very good and good streamer. I will leave his stream in the description below. Now, he's playing the Chinese into the French, but mountain clearing, so everything goes out the window. So I will give you the stats right now. The French, 51% um, in Conqueror and above, around 288 games. And then the French, 51% win rate across 13,000 games against the Chinese. But again, this is Mountain Clearing, so it's all out of the table. Now, if you've made it this far in the video, as you notice, I've moved this a little bit. Please do like and subscribe if you made it this far. I feel like at this point, you've made it far enough that those things can happen. Um, so I've adjusted it from saying at the beginning. I'll leave you a little reminder at the bottom. Um, but I'll say it towards like we get to these first few minutes. Let me know if you like that, care or not. I, you know, I, I don't even know why you would care. Regardless, if you're enjoying this, please do like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. We have a school of cavalry coming down. I, for one, am shocked. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see what BC wants to do because China is usually a boom sieve, especially into the French. I saw a lot of French um, this weekend as I was casting into Chinese specifically, and it's all about how well you can do early on, how much pressure you can kind of apply to the Chinese, not let them boom to get to a certain level. Now, on this map, the barber can, de can definitely be placed... Where are you guys going? Hello? Oh. Well, you know what I was just talking about? When I was saying that the barber can, can be placed in a forward position and then cut off the map to prevent um, knights from getting a little bit too funky. Well, it looks like Beastie isn't a fan of mountain clearing either, or he is a fan and wants to be done with this game quite quickly because there's the barbican drop. Now that will be changed in the next season. You cannot do this any longer. You cannot place forward facing landmarks that close within range of the town center anymore. But to pour one out for barbican rushes everywhere, Beastie has done an ode to the barbican rush and decided to drop one in the front of Mountain Clearing. And it does look like no, because the Chinese also have an unreal speed um, to build, they're also going to, it's also going to take out a ton of villagers on the back end as well. Now that being said, an absolute bold move there by Vanendorf to try to beat down the villagers in time um, to actually make that happen. There's no way that was ever going to happen. Um, so if you see this coming your way, don't even try that unless you're really early because the Chinese villagers build so, so quickly. Um, just start building into the back of your base. Um, immediately, immediately forget this nonsense. Um, and if this is early on, cancel it, move it back. Like everything needs to just get paired away from this nonsense. The only unfortunate part though is that that is the food. Beastie is very, very smart. That's all, that's it, because the food's also over here too, which is super unfortunate. I mean, I know we have some sheep over here, which is going to be very nice for Vandorf. But like, that is, a, that's seven deer, all nice and close. That's a sheep carcass that will never, never get its full potential. We have the mill taking the smallest 
of damage one per of that shot so i'm going to move away from this lovely little adventure soon because i'm sick of hearing just the constant pitter patter of the barbican trying to kill it and then the tc trying to kill the barbican as well um but this is incredibly annoying um bc knows what he's doing we see another little okay that was a scout i was gonna say is it another villager where are you going now we do see them on the move though and we're getting a forward facing tower now these chinese tow outposts slash tower i mean they're towers but outpost technically is the name so we will adjust to make sure now the issue with these is you can also hear the barbican that thing has a built-in hand cannon right and right there you can get hand cannon slits pretty cheaply on these towers as you can see beastie is already going for that stone which i wouldn't be surprised if we start to see this the second that stone goes up to 50 there it is hand can slits now these are super super annoying especially to deal with um as a non-chinese the mongols also have unreal outposts as well um but these will be throwing seeds at every night that decides to pop out of this thing and we also see where are you guys going oh another one isn't that so nice just in case you want to have a fun day um, one of the best players in the entire world decides to surround you on mountain clearing as the Chinese with hand cannon towers. Just warms your heart. I'm sure, I'm sure Vandendorf is having an absolute blast playing this matchup right here. We have another tower going down up top just in case he wanted to use the size of his base. It's just not going to happen. We even have this tower being upgraded to a fortified outpost. This night while he did make it out nothing is really here for bc besides over here oh well we do have the stone but as you can see the issue with the chinese tcs is they can throw hand cannons at these knights and look at already down 90 health and that's just off the rip he also has very oh my goodness look at this thing just sitting out here and this one's going to get all these upgrades as well it's just absolutely insane. There's another one. There it goes. Gets that. Going to get the fortified as well. We have one coming in over here, which is going to get the gold, which is going to be absolutely brutal. I will say, Vandorf, I would love to see you attack this one. Um, there's no reason that you shouldn't be. It's getting some good damage over here. Got two villager kills. So Vandorf doing pretty well. Um, but if this thing goes down, which it shouldn't, but it is... This is going to be really rough. I mean, this is a perfect example as well of taking out the Barbican Rush. Um, as you can see, it's in range of the TC, so that wouldn't be able to fly um, in the next season. This thing, uh, Vandorf, that's on you. You got to do better there. You got to see that and do better there. I think, honestly, he's probably just overwhelmed slash annoyed that this is happening, which is very, very, very fair. But honestly, I wasn't sure if I wanted to bring you guys this replay. I did watch it in advance. I don't usually do that. It's usually a surprise inside, kind of like a box of chocolates. But I wanted to see what this gameplay was. And I was not disappointed with how funny this was. Now, if you are not if you're not the person that's getting this done to them, it's kind of funny. It's death by a thousand cuts over and over and over again. And honestly, these villagers are getting absolutely pelted. Oof. That one hurt me emotionally and physically. And look at the range in this thing. They're sprinting around desperately trying to get away, but they can't. And just, you just hear, you hear all the, the it's just a chorus of hand cannon slits from all these Chinese towers, barbicans, everything. Knights trying to do some damage. They can't do anything. You might want to move them away. Again, I feel your pain, Vandorf. Uh, these archers are not going to be able to get out anywhere. They're over here, but I mean... What are you going to get? I mean, Beast is going to be protecting this back line. But again, has an outpost. Should be totally fine. We see this one. Honestly, PC, that one's not the best. Uh, that one's not in the best. But is he going to do a chop around? Or is he just going to walk casually through? Oh, he's just going to do a little lumber mill. Just, you know, just to set up shop back there, just in case. We have a knight. Is diving. Gets two kills. Now pull it back. Benedorf, pull it back. Benedorf, pull it back, pull it back, pull it, oh. pull it back. You hate to see it. You absolutely hate to see it. 
Beastie is just having an absolute field day at this point. And you gotta feel for the French player. Then again, sometimes you don't. I understand also that the French players don't always need um, our sympathies as well. They also cheese. Uh, I mean, they don't really cheese. It's usually micro and everything like that. Um, but I'm sure we've all been frustrated by a French knight coming in and just absolutely ruining our day. I will say the meta has gotten a lot better. So these little bad boys really do do number on the knights. Um, this is going to be very unfortunate. We need we need you to see this. You're not going to see it, but you should have seen this little dude walking right over here. This this will be GG. This this you can come back from. This you can come back from. That 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 you can't come back from. The only thing he's missing is one over here. If he had one over here, he would completely have surrounded this base. And he's also found the proxy food that Vanendorf has set up as well, which is incredibly unfortunate. Um, he seems to be overwhelmed. Um, it's also because this thing is starting to throw seeds over the top as well. Um, but did get the fast reaction time. There we go. Not the quickest in the books, but we're getting there. BC has killed 18 workers. I would like to know the stats on how many of those were due to buildings and how many of those were due to other units. We do see that these villagers went on their way to find some nice spearmen, uh, some nice archers in the middle to save the day. BC has four horsemen on the way as well. And once this gets clicked over here, I don't see how poor Vanderdorf is going to stay in this game. Honestly, it lasted longer than I would, right? The second this thing went down and this thing went down, and this thing went down, and then when this thing went down, ain't no way I'm staying, but he survived into this thing and this thing. It, well, to be fair, he doesn't really know about this one yet, um, but he, he's gonna, he's gonna real soon. When um, these poor, let me see, nine villagers are gonna have a bad time. We do have a forward, forward ramp over here, so we will check back in when this finally gets built. I mean, I will say slow it. It's like building an Ikea furniture over here, just very slow, methodical. We have BC getting range armor level one, just for the sake of it. This thing is now peppering the back line. And that, I mean, that's pretty much it there. So let's see this ram. Beastie with the great micro back and forth. Going to be losing a knight right there. Going to be dealing a lot of damage to that knight. And almost killing at this point. The TC range is bananas. Realizing that there's an outpost back there as well. These poor villagers, 23 villagers have been killed. The only route out is the left. You have to go west. I mean, this sounds like the Oregon Trail. And there is the GG's. I thought this one was absolutely hysterical. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Let me know also what you want to see from me more. And also, if you have an hysterical gameplay, you can also tell me in the email itself if I can make a lot of jokes or if you want the analytical version or if you want this like you know just very relaxed type of version you can let me know what style of commentary or casting you would like over it but send me in your gameplay into the email below um let me know what the rank is i don't it doesn't really care i don't care if it's bronze i don't care if you're conqueror let me know if you're a subscriber i will cast the game for you so send it on in if you guys did enjoy this video and you did enjoy seeing the most excruciating pain that anyone can feel in Age of Empires, which is slowly killed death via Barbican and Towers, and an ode to the Barbican Rush that will forever be gone in what? How many? It will be gone in two weeks, one day, and six hours. You'll never see it ever again. If you have it, if you want it, if you keep enjoying those type of content, please do subscribe and drop a like on the video. I truly appreciate it. Have a wonderful night.